Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today we're on to pseudoscientist number 11, who is Taboo Conspiracy. Now when it comes to Taboo Conspiracy, despite having responded to him multiple times, I actually don't know a whole lot about him. To me, he's just generic flat earther number 33. So uh, yeah, let's see what he has to say. I'm going to share with you three different NASA rocket launches that supposedly went to space. I have shared these video clips on my channel several times, and so you can skip this if you want. Okay then, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment. Okay, we will actually continue. But I was at work yesterday, and one of my coworkers started talking to me about NASA space launches. In response, I shared these few launches with him, and he was immediately convinced of NASA's fraud. Are you sure he wasn't just being polite? Because sometimes people do that. They don't want to cause any argument, so they just nod and agree and go, yep, you are completely right about those lizards. Sometimes they might even jokingly agree. There are a lot of flat earthers that don't realize when pilots, for example, are just joking when they say that the earth is flat. Of course, we don't know all the details, so it is always possible that he did actually convince someone that the earth is flat, but I thought I'd put that out there anyway. It's self-evident to any thinking reasonable person that NASA was faking these rocket launches. Whenever flat earthers say something like that, they're always misunderstanding something, every time, without a doubt. If they were actually correct in what they say, I wouldn't be able to come along and go, well, this is how it actually works. The children get it, but the adults come up with every ridiculous excuse. You do realize there that you just said that your cognitive ability is closer to that of a child's than of an adult. <laughs> Oh, that is so much of a cell phone. Though, there is a difference between taboo conspiracy and a child. A child will actually try to understand the answer that they get told. Taboo conspiracy won't, he'll just deny it. Every ridiculous excuse as to why these rockets only appear to be falling down. Oh, you don't understand how going into orbit works. Gotcha. My favorite is the father telling the child that the rocket only appears to be falling because the earth is churning. Utter nonsense. Okay, Taboo Conspiracy is actually right here, but not for the reasons that he thinks that he is. You see, rocket launches are typically done closer to the equator, and the reason for this is because when you're at the equator, there is much more centrifugal force acting on you than when you're closer to the poles. Since centrifugal force is basically the inertia that you have from being on something that is rotating, if you leave the thing that is rotating, you will still retain the momentum from that. So rocket launchers make use of this by launching the rocket in the same direction as the rotation of the Earth, not against it. If they just need to get into low Earth orbit, this can give them up to a 17th of the speed that they need to maintain that kind of orbit. So no, rockets don't appear to go down because of Earth turning. If they did, then that rocket probably wouldn't make it that far. I'm sorry, but if you believe this rocket is in space, you have some serious issues that you may want to talk to God about. Okay, let's say that I did have issues because of this for some reason. How is God supposed to help with that? Last I checked, most Christians aren't flat earthers. Most Christians would say that the earth is a globe, and some of them would even say that they've talked to God. So why hasn't God told them that the earth is not a globe? You know, it doesn't seem to work for them. Anyway, the rest of the video is just the rocket launches, so he's made his point already. Let's take a look at a different video by him. Hello, everyone. A big thanks to Level Earth Observer for first pointing this out. I'll have a link to his channel in the description where you can go and subscribe to his channel. Oh dear, that is not a good start to a Flat Earth video, I will say. I just wanted to make sure that as many people as possible see this important video evidence. This is a small but indisputable proof that NASA lied to us about their space program. A lot of people can see the obvious, that NASA lied about the moon landings. But this confirms, without question, that NASA lied about everything else related to space. So there are people that try to bring up the moon landings to show, oh, these are fake, but I have heard some very, very compelling evidence that the moon landings were not faked. Dave McKeegan has gone over a lot of the photos and videos from the Apollo moon landing and shown that the lighting in these would be impossible to recreate here on Earth. And in fact, something that I've said for a long time is why hasn't someone tried to recreate the moon landing here on Earth using only technology that was available back in the 60s? And in one of Dave McKeegan's videos, he actually mentions that that has been attempted by Hollywood and they failed. Because there have been occasions where people have tried to replicate these images in such conditions. Even Hollywood tried it, and none of them were able to accurately replicate them. 
all wound up with noticeable light fall off in the distance because even the light there isn't far enough away from the subject. I bring this up because a lot of flat earthers like to talk about the moon landings as though it's established fact that they were faked. In reality, however, that's just not what the evidence shows. A lot of the evidence that I see people try to bring up is them looking for evidence and seeing evidence that the moon landings were faked where there is none. The reason why flat earthers treat the moon landings as though they've been established to be fake is because it's a much more popular conspiracy theory than Flat Earth, because all Flat Earthers have to be moon landing deniers. Though I suppose it would be really funny if there were a Flat Earth out there somewhere that actually believed that the moon landing happened. Furthermore, if NASA lied about their Gemini program, you must logically presume that NASA continues to lie about everything. Well, no, even if you can show that NASA lied about something, then that doesn't mean that they lied about everything. Especially when you've got people like Dave McKeegan who have gone through NASA's footage and shown that it has to be real, they can't have faked it. You can find the original video here at around the 27 minute mark, and I'll have a link in the description. Okay, because of that, Taboo Conspiracy is automatically better than Level Earth Observer, because Level Earth Observer never includes any kind of links in his description. Do you know how long I've spent looking for videos that Level Earth Observer has talked about but just not bothered to put a link to? The answer to that is longer than I care to admit. According to the official story, as narrated by one of the alleged Gemini 9 astronauts, in early June 1966, NASA's Gemini 9 spacecraft was orbiting at a speed of 18,000 miles per hour when it rendezvoused with the so-called augmented target docking adapter. One of the things I'm curious about is, if this is supposed to be fake, then how did they fake this in 1966, before the moon landings? You can't say CGI, because CGI wouldn't have been able to produce that kind of video in 1966. They can't have just used a real-life model of the Earth, because a real-life model of the Earth tends to have a solid edge rather than the blue haze that we see. Rather than just pointing out something that you think is fake, a good idea is to actually explain how it might have been faked, because sometimes these kinds of things just simply can't be faked. Here's the original video, unedited. This is the rendezvous from above. We're coming down on the ATDA over the Indian Ocean. And so you really know you're moving. Here we're plunging down from above, and the ATDA is going across uh, over the Indian Ocean. We've just passed the Sahara Desert. We're coming into less than a thousand feet now. There's no question that you're really moving at 18,000 miles an hour. As you can see, while supposedly flying at 18,000 miles per hour, Gemini 9 abruptly stopped on a dime and then resumed flight and caught back up to the ATDA all within a few seconds. Now on first glance, yeah, it kind of looks a bit weird. However, there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. The answer is of course that Gemini 9 rotated, it didn't stop. It may be a little bit hard to notice, but the distortion of the clouds that we see as this is happening indicates to me that it is just simply rotation, not it stopping. Spacecraft like this do have thrusters on board that allow them to rotate if they need to, especially if they need to dock with another spacecraft, that is kind of crucial. That's a change of speed of approximately 36,000 miles per hour in just about three seconds. That certainly would have killed everyone on board. There was no change of camera angle. There is no excuse. This space video was faked. NASA is a criminal organization, stealing your money and your soul. Oh damn, they have my soul now? When did they get that? When did I give it to them? So many questions. But one of the things I noticed is he tried to say that it's not camera angle. However, he didn't give any explanation or anything as to why it's not camera angle. He just said it. Afterwards, he just went on to say that it's faked. And if it is fake, how did they fake it? Back in the 60s. I think a lot of these accusations of fakery by flat earthers come from the fact that we live in modern times where faking something like this today would be a lot easier. They take this idea of faking something being a lot easier and apply it to other things where faking it would have been an incredible undertaking. Except flat earthers make the assumption that no it isn't that hard, it's actually very easy apparently, but they don't explain how it's very easy. This means that when they see something that looks off to them, they assume that it's evidence of fakery, regardless of how difficult or impossible it would be to fake it. So yeah, that is it for this video. 
Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know who you think is going to show up in the next video where I will see you. Between you and me, thank you for watching.